Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. And one of the things that I'm noticing is that the level of noise that people are willing to accept in their high performance PCs is a lot lower than it used to be. So, of course, we have lots of options for cooling our CPUs and GPUs. We have closed loop coolers. We have open loops that allow you to kind of put another radiator in if you need to. Uh, similar, more like a kit, similar to the custom, closer to a custom water loop, though. Um, you can build the custom water loop with rads and connectors and tubing and all your different pumps and reservoirs. And, of course, we have our traditional air cooling. Now the biggest thing, like I said, the biggest thing I'm noticing is that people are considering performance and noise level and not just straight performance when they're checking out these things and when they want these in their PCs. I know even in server rooms, the level of noise that a server or switches and things like that are allowed to make has become much lower in the past few years. The government has been regulating this because lots of workers who work in those kind of environments have been losing their hearing similar to construction workers so I have two products here these are cooling products and also monitoring products a monitoring product for your PC the first one is the Kraken X41 which is a closed loop cooler for either your GPU with the G10 bracket you can buy or for your CPU cooler. I also have the Grid Plus here, which is a USB fan controller and allows you to connect in with the CAM software just like the Kraken does. So why don't we take a closer look at the products installed into a PC and I'll tell you a little bit more about them and how they work. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the simpler of the two devices. This is the Grid Plus. It is a very small device and it does come with a piece of double stick tape so that you can stick it pretty much anywhere in your case. Now the beauty of this is that it has six connectors on it for fans and it also comes with adapters so that you can connect more devices into a channel. So basically it's like a six channel fan controller. The connectors on it have two four pin style connectors and you can plug them into one of the channels. This does take a USB connector to be able to interact with the cam software on your system and it also takes a power connector which on the other end is just a four pin Molex. So what you would do is you would hook this up, you would hook all your case fans up to this, and then you'll be able to monitor and control the fan speeds and of your uh, case fans from your mobile device through the NZX through the NZXT login. It will actually send the monitoring to the cloud and you'll be able to access that on your mobile device or through their PC app, the CAM software. The CAM software also works with the Kraken X41. So that has a USB header on it as well. So if you use that, if you use these two things, you'll be able to pretty much control every aspect of all your fans and pumps and cooling in your system um, without a problem. So I really liked this. This was really cool because it's really small and you can stick it anywhere in your case and hide it. Um, I just kind of installed it with without too much care for the wiring since I wasn't planning on leaving it in this particular build um, for after I'm done testing it. So that's that. You've got two options with the USB too. Um, also to just so you know, it does come with a USB 2.0 header uh, on one end and a micro USB cable connector on the other end. Or you can just use a straight micro USB cable like you would for a Android phone and run it through to a USB port on your system. Either way works, so that's really nice. The other thing we have is the Kraken X41 in here. So one of the things about the Kraken X41 is it's a 140 millimeter radiator. You have one fan that it comes with. This is a four pin PWM fan. 
Um, so it is variable speed. The fan has some rubber grommets on it where the screws go through to help keep the vibrations at bay. And this is a thicker 140 millimeter radiator than most. So you get a little bit more surface area. And also you have your tubing here that comes out of it. The tubing is 400 millimeters long. Um, so you have plenty of length to put this pretty much anywhere in your case and still be able to reach your CPU or GPU cooler. Now one of the things with this is it is a variable speed pump. So it won't necessarily run at full blast making tons of noise when you're not really pushing your system. So the silence part, the silence part has become really big. So NZXT has tried to design a solution for that. What we have coming off of the pump is a USB header, which allows you to connect into your cam software again, which I will definitely show you the software a little bit later in the video. You also have a power connector for your fan, which actually powers your pump. And you also have a two pin, two set of four pin PWN connector here that also goes into the pump. So you can power your two fans on your radiator through the pumps connector and it will be able to read the fan speeds on the Kraken X41. Now one of the things I really liked about this was the installation is really simple. So you have a back plate on it and the back plate is fully adjustable for the different Intel sockets. It's right here on the back. It is a plastic little back plate and the pieces just slide to fit the different sockets. So you put that on first, match that up with your socket, and then to further the installation, you have screws that go down into that, that back plate. Now they, they provide three different types of screws one for the typical Intel sockets, one for the LGA 2011 socket, and also one set for AMD. So on the AMD, typically you don't need to put a back plate on because it's already one on the motherboard, and also on the 2011, the same thing. There's one on the motherboard typically. For your mounting, this actually just unclips from the pump itself and you can pop the different plates on for depending on what socket you're using. This is the AMD one and that would just pop on if we were using AMD. I have the Intel one on there right now. You also get four extra long screws for adding a second fan to it if you wanted to add the second fan for push-pull and you get four of the short screws for mounting it directly to a case. So as far as accessories are concerned, pretty straightforward. Um, once you have the socket on and have your screws down through the motherboard into the back of the back plate, and then you can just use the four thumb screws and screw them down. I do recommend, of course, using a screwdriver on them just to make sure they're nice and tight. Once that's done and you plug in your cables, your installation is done. Another thing I wanted to just show you quick about this NZXT Kraken X41 is you got this nice LED in the pump itself. I actually have it set to be alternating between colors um, and you can change the interval and everything like that or you can just change it to a standard color. It is RGB so you pretty much can change the color on it to just about anything you want in that RGB um, group. So that's really cool. So you got red and green if your system's got a green theme to it. So just one little extra feature that you can take a look at with the Kraken. Um, why don't we take a look at the benchmarks now and then I will show you the cam software. Here we have a look at the CAM software that you can use with both the Kraken X41 and the Grid Plus. So what you're going to see here in the CAM software is because we have both of those plugged into our system, we actually have a tab for each one of them. 
but let's take a look at the dashboard first. So on the dashboard, you get a quick look with the modules of your CPU, temperature and load, and your GPU. I currently do not have a GPU installed in that system. That's why it has an A on it. You have settings for the Kraken. That will bring you to the Kraken tab. Kraken information is right here. Of course, you can do some quick changing of modes right here on the front dashboard. Same thing for your Grid Plus. And then in the advanced section here, you have your CPU temperatures and load graphs, as well as information on GPU, motherboard, RAM, hard drive, the internet, and the frames per second. All this stuff can be sent to the cloud so you can monitor it through your mobile phone. If we click the cam little icon here, it will give you your version information and you can access your release notes and it tells you the last time it was updated. And then under specs, you have the specifications for your system if you're interested. And Kraken, on the Kraken tab, you can set a custom fan profile here. If you choose manual, if you, if you choose manual mode, you can manually adjust it. If you choose new custom profile, you can build an actual fan curve. Um, the same thing can be done for the grid. And as you see on the grid here, we've got six fans. This is the six channels of the grid. So each one can be named. Each one can be controlled um, through all together through this these modes here. And then if we go back to the Kraken here, you've got your LED settings on the bottom. The standard alternating blinking or off. If you really don't like the LED, you can, in fact, turn it off. So you can change the colors, like I said, to RGB. Uh, for example, let's make it purple this time. And you send update the LED, and it will go straight to the Kraken and change the LED settings. Up at the top here, you've got a screenshot button. You've got a notifications button. So if there's something that goes wrong, it will give you a notification. Um, this also works with the cloud so that you can get those notifications when you're not in front of your system. You have access to your account settings, all the cam settings, and also a way to switch to a smaller screen for the cam software itself if you wanted to keep that up while you were doing other things and settings here does the same sort of gives you the same sort of information as this one account so you can manage your account online you can change the interface color you can get rid of the header in the background here um, and you can set your notification settings for what when you would get notifications and you can also set the overlay information so you can get this information while you're playing a game and monitor your system if you're, say, doing some overclocking and you wanted to, to monitor that information while you're testing your overclock. That's the CAM software. Very simple to use. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I didn't have any issues with it giving me false information or things like that. And I definitely could see this being very useful to an enthusiast. So now let's get back to the Kraken X41 re review. I just want to take a moment to go through the installation method one more time. Um, I know it was probably pretty difficult to see it with it installed into the case. So first thing, backplate. Take your backplate, and you, this is for Intel. Uh, you take your backplate and you install that on the back of your motherboard. These are adjustable for the different sockets, so you get that adjusted and pop that in. Then, once you've done that, you're going to take your screws and screw them through your motherboard socket holes, and they're going to screw into the backplate. Now, once that's all done, you're going to, going to want to take your the pump part of the Kraken. After you've applied thermal paste to the CPU, of course, and put that on top of the CPU. Now, what I was saying before was depending on what kind of socket you have, you have the different mounting bracket. So this just pops off. There are 
a few little clips at the top of the pump so the bracket can just pop off and you can change that out for the AMD bracket if you are using AMD. So you got a little round plastic cover that comes off once you do that and you can put the AMD bracket on. This has some notches on it and you just line the notches up with the bottom of this so that it can go up and you turn it and then you put the, the plastic round part back on and it clips everything into place. Once you've done that, then you can take your bracket, you can take your pump and put it onto your CPU with its bracket and take your four thumb screws and just screw them down onto the um, screws that you put through your motherboard. And like I said, definitely um, you can definitely get them tight with your by hand and then just give them like a half a turn with a screwdriver just to make sure they're nice and tight and you got good contact with your seat. So that's a look at the Kraken X41 and the Grid Plus. So the Grid Plus is definitely a really useful device if you're an enthusiast and you want to be monitoring your system on the go or if you just want to be able to tweak the settings from right from Windows or your mobile phone. The Kraken X41 is also a very nice cooler. It definitely does perform well enough and is a lot quieter than a lot of the other closed loop coolers that I've experienced out there. So the best thing about it of course is that the installation on it is super easy and I really appreciated that. And of course you've got the LED in the pump if you like the little bit of flashiness from it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and for the full written review please see www.hightechlegion.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages. Take care.